In an earlier video, we explored the movement of Earth and Moon with respect to the Sun. Red ball representing the Sun can be replaced with the flashlight of a phone. Now, we can observe the play of shadows as Earth and Moon changes positions. This arrangement does not allow us to view Moon as seen from the Earth. Let us place another phone in place of Earth and larger ball in place of a small Moon. In fact, we don't need this complete setup. Instead, we will use the flashlight of this phone to represent sunlight. On this turntable made from corrugated sheet, a small plastic ball represents the moon. This second phone represents Earth. Camera on this second mobile phone will enable us to view phases of moon as it revolves around Earth. Height of the light source needs adjustments at some locations to avoid the shadow of Earth on the Moon for the current setup. Let us start with the new Moon. For better viewing, we will move the flashlight further. Like Earth, the Moon has a day side and a night side which changes as moon rotates. The sun always illuminates half of the moon while other half remains dark. But how much we are able to see of that illuminated half changes as the moon travels through its orbit. We call it a phase. The moon has eight phases in a lunar month, four primary and four intermediate phases. This cycle repeats once a month, which is 29 and half days. Frame on the left side shows the top view, while frame on the right side shows the moon as seen from the earth. This is the invisible face of the moon, with illuminated side of the moon facing the sun, and the night side facing earth. In this phase, the moon is in the same part of the sky as the sun and rises and sets with the sun. Not only is the illuminated side facing away from the earth, it's also up during the day. In this phase, moon does not usually pass directly between earth and the sun due to the inclination of the moon's orbit. It only passes near the sun from our perspective on earth. This sliver of the moon occurs when illuminated half of the moon faces mostly away from the earth, with only a tiny portion visible to us from earth. It grows daily as the moon's orbit carries the moon's day side farther into the view. Every day, the moon rises a little bit later. Now, most of the moon's day side has come into view and moon appears brighter in the sky.
Here we see the entire day side of the moon. The moon is opposite the sun as viewed from the earth, revealing the moon's day side. Full moon rises around sunset and sets around sunrise. The moon will appear full for couple of days. As the moon begins its journey back towards the sun, the opposite side of the moon now reflects the moon's light. The lighted side appears to shrink, but the moon's orbit is simply carrying it out of view from our perspective. The moon rises later and later each night. The moon looks like it's half illuminated from the perspective of earth. But really, you are seeing half of the half moon that is illuminated by the sun. The last quarter moon, also known as the third quarter moon, rises around midnight and sets around noon. The moon is nearly back to the point in its orbit where its day side directly faces the sun. And all that we see from our perspective is a very thin curve. Now the cycle repeats itself for another month. This ball with indentation was 3D printed for the purpose. You can perform this activity with balls of different sizes as well as changing the position of the sun. I captured phases of moon with my camera during this activity as well. Do try this at home. Thank you.